And now it's the moment that we've all been waiting for. Each finalist will randomly pick a number that represent a, represents a member of our selection committee. They will then ask a final question. All right, here we go. We begin with you, Georgia. Don't be intimidated by the music. <laughs> Very sweet. Please select a number. I have judge number two. Okay, you selected Iman. Iman, please. Hi, ask how are you question. feeling? I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. Okay, so my question for you is nearly one in four teens say they connect with their teachers less than once a week. Do you believe it's possible for distance learning to be effective despite a lack of in-person engagement? Honestly, I can personally relate to the distant learning with my little brother. He is on the autism spectrum and he needs that social interaction. So I feel like having the social interaction really helps with the education because with him being on the autism spectrum, it makes it a little bit more difficult. But I feel like in the teacher side, there's ways that they can make the interaction more effective. Thank you. Great job, Georgia. Oregon, you're up. Please select a number. I have judge number three. Judge number three is Kaylee Graham. Would you please read your question? Hello, congratulations. Thank you. My question for you is, it has been said that all politics are local. With that in mind, what law would you like to see enacted in your home state? Something that I would absolutely love to see in my state is being able to have plastic bags be eliminated. Right now, our climate is deteriorating and Oregon is known for having such a great, great climate reform. And I'd love for us to just throw out those plastic bags and instead have paper ones because even though a small act is so tiny, it can make a really big difference in our country. Thank you so much, Oregon. All right, you're up, Nebraska. Judge number four. Judge number four is Nia Franklin. Nia? Hi, how are you? Great, how are you? Great. If you could choose one book as a mandatory read for all teens, what would it be and why? That would be The Possibilities Are Endless. I read this book at such a young age, learning the importance of dreaming. That's what I tell all of my kids that are, mentor that are my mentees, dream big. My nine-year-old self would be screaming right now, knowing that I am here. Don't let anyone tell you you can't, because you always can. I am just so thrilled, so thank you. Great job, Nebraska. Next up, we have Louisiana. Please select a number. I have judge number one. Judge number one is Danielle Doty Fitzgerald. Would you please read your question? How are you doing tonight? I'm great, how are you? Doing good. My question for you is, do you believe college tuition should be free for all Americans? Why or why not? I don't believe it should be free for everyone because I think that's what makes going to college so special. Earning the scholarships, working hard, getting those grades, and that's what makes college so important and so special for the people that get to go. So I think that we can all work hard and get scholarships and so pay for our college in that way. Thank you, Louisiana. And last but not least, Hawaii. Tough choice I got here. Judge number five. Okay, Sarah, stage is yours. Hello, how are you? I'm Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so my question for you is, what has experiencing a global pandemic taught you about life? Well, of course, this global pandemic is very unprecedented and has taught me a lot about life. 
For me, especially, it's taught me to appreciate my family. I got to spend so much time with my family, my little sister and my little brother. I love them dearly, and I know that soon in spring, I will be going off to college, and I won't have those precious moments with them. So really, it's just to cherish those around me, and really just, it's so honorable that I get to represent my home of Hawaii, so just being at home is so wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Hawaii. Family really is everything.